so what's good everybody um you might not be able to tell i have made videos back here before i'm back in connecticut for personal reasons again um like i said before i moved to ohio for personal reasons for a little while searching for what i felt like was home but then i realized that home is where my family is and my family is in ohio but my family my personal family is in connecticut um my girl my stepson i miss them so i miss cooking for them and doing things for them and i miss being a dad so and a husband boyfriend whatever you want to call it so yeah i'm back in connecticut and i am almost four months post op see my scarring it's not bad um it's darkening a little bit because my scars tend to darken and dent in, which is what they did, but that's good because it's a little better than being out raised and um, maybe like red or pink or something. It's starting to turn pink in some spots, but um, as you can see, it's all like still uneven, but when I do this, it evens out. So it looks pretty even um it's starting to this dent is starting to come out more and more every day um but yeah almost four months post-op i think i got like 10 more days a little less than 10 more days um but i just wanted to give a little short update before i actually talk about the main point of this video the main point of this video is i was talking to a trans woman um just chatting about YouTube, documentation of transition, our process, and different stuff like that. And she was doing, she was suggesting, she, she, she suggested that I do a video about navigating insurance because I've had a lot of experience with that. Um, and that's actually a really good idea. So I want to start off by saying insurance is very hard to navigate through. Obviously, I think everybody has experienced that. Um, no matter what insurance you have, it's difficult. So for me, I've been on SSI since I was 18 or 17 years old. Um, I've always been considered disabled since then. Um, I have anxiety disorder. I have bipolar. I'm on the spectrum. So I get supplemental su security income. So all my stuff pretty much since I got on SSI has been covered. Like my testosterone was like $60 a vial for a month um, at Walmart before I got on SSI and then there was no copay. So um, my, my experience might be different from a lot of people's because I've been on SSI for so long and because I am on SSI. Um, but I do wanna say that Navigating Connecticut's insurance compared to Ohio's insurance is so much more easy because doctors are more helpful in that part with you. Um, in Ohio, you're kind of like fending on fending for your own um, with insurance and getting that all done yourself. Doctors in Connecticut here assist a lot more. Um, and I will talk about that. Um, I will talk about, I want to make a video about my experience with Ohio's insurance, one. And then an, a video explaining my uh, experience with Connecticut insurance is my second video. But, and then I'm going to delve into like Ohio versus Connecticut with Histo versus Top because Ohio has been hard, harder on me than... Um, Ohio was harder on me than Connecticut, of course, like I said, but um, top, I think my hysterectomy was actually a little bit harder to get, but my top surgery is what cut it close with my insurance in Connecticut. We cut it real close. I didn't think that I would actually get my top surgery until a couple of days ahead of time because we weren't sure. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to make a video uh with my experiences with ohio insurance and then i'm gonna make a second video explaining my experience with connecticut insurance so be prepared for those um hopefully it helps some people um thank you for the woman who thank you to the woman who uh 
suggested this video. It's a good topic. I've never thought of it before. So, yeah, four months post-op, back in Connecticut, and get my life back on track. Peace.